again. Here is question 25 from the 2014 exam. And it says use algebra to solve that lot. Now, before we do anything, we, we are in the calculator section. That is, we're expected to be able to use a calculator, or can use a calculator whenever we like. But the question tells us to use algebra. So they're wanting the, the full algebraic solution to get full marks. You'll get some if you, if you, you, know, if you, you, you don't know what to do with it and you pick up a calculator, they'll probably give you some because we're in the calculator section, but it might only be, we've got, we got a four mark question here, they might give you one, maybe one and a half, I shouldn't think they'd give you much more than that. To get the full marks or as many marks as you can, you've got to use algebra. So even though it's in the calculator section, okay, let's make a start. Um, let us look carefully at this thing here. The, the starting line of this, you have to recognize that this is a quadratic. Now, you, you will have met quadratics in several situations and they do hide them, so sometimes you can't recognize that it is, is a quadratic. But So seeing these exponential things with 5 to the power x, you have to recognize this is a quadratic. We recognize that because we see that we've got 25 here, and 25 is 5 squared. So if I just, I'll show you very clearly what I'm doing here. 25 is 5 squared, so that is 5 squared. Minus 3 times 5 dx minus 4. And then when you have 5 squared to the power x, that is the same as 5 to the power 2 times x. Minus 3 times 5 dx minus 4. And this is the same as 5 to the power 2x is the same as 5 to the power x squared. Hopefully, now it's beginning to look a little bit like a quadratic. So if we do something like let um, 5 to the x be some other variable t, then we have t squared minus 3t minus 4 equals 0. And now it does look like a quadratic where our t is 5 to the power x. All of that is really, you know, familiarity with, with these ways of hiding quadratics and recognizing that 25 is 5 squared. So you, you sort of have to be able to, I mean, presumably you've done a few practices of this type of thing and you, you can recognize it in an exam situation. Once we've gone to that, then it's, you know, the method is quite straightforward. We just factorize that, so we're going to get t, and t equal to 0 to get 4. We're going to have to have two twos. Now I've got to get 4 and 1, 4 and 1, and got to get minus 3, so minus 4 and plus 1. So therefore, for this lot to be equal to 0, we must get t equal to 4, or t equals minus 1. And we just go through those two to find the two situations. So t equals 4, therefore oops, we get 5 to the x equals 4, in which case, taking the log to the base 5 of both sides, log base 5, 5 to the x equals log base 5 of 4, bring that x to the front, log to the base 5 of 5 is 1, and x equals log to the base 5 of 4. Or we get, now we're using the t equals minus 1, we get 5 to the x equals minus 1, and that has no solutions because whatever power you put 5 to it can't possibly ever be a negative number and there we go that's 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 the algebraic way of doing it so if you're um if you're stuck at the beginning pick up your calculator you might get yourself a mark or a mark and a bit or something but you won't get much if the question tells you that you have to use algebra to solve it these quadratics are hidden. They're sometimes hidden in exponentials. They're sometimes hidden in um, trig functions, trig equations as well. Um, you, you just need to get familiar with spotting when they come along, because they do every now and then. Okay, I will stop just there.